hundred years of all this trauma is ending. For most of Randall Morton's life, he's yearned for answers about his identity, culture, and heritage. You see, he didn't find out until he was six years old that his father was a member of the Osage tribe. Even then, he says there wasn't very much information to help him understand his family's history. One reason we don't know about the Osages and much of Native American history because that history was hidden. It was never taught. And growing the land of the Osage people was dramatically reduced after the Louisiana Purchase. They were forced to migrate in 1872 to their final reservation in what is now Osage County, Oklahoma. However, when valuable oil was found on their land in 1897, the Osage became the richest group of people in the world at that time. The wealth, however, attracted white Americans to the area, some of whom were only interested in getting their hands on that fortune, no matter the price. Uh, the only way white people could get a head right, you could only inherit them. So they married into the families and then slowly slowly poison many of them, knock them off in different ways. Dozens of Osage people began dying at an alarming rate in the 1920s, an era now known as the Osage Reign of Terror. It marked a period when white murderers went unprosecuted for their crimes, a dark cloud of injustice that haunted Morton's family for generations. He shares that his grandparents were killed by their next door neighbor, a white man who shot them over a petty dispute about the use of a garage. His father, only 15 years old at the time, witnessed the whole thing, the beginning of a cycle of intergenerational trauma in his family. He just was not able to manage vulnerable emotions or intimate emotions. The world he grew up in was actually dangerous. It was dangerous for him to be vulnerable. Morton only discovered these details about his grandparents' murder last spring when a childhood friend sent over a newspaper clipping from the 1920s about the crime scene. There's my father stood watching the whole thing at the gate. Around the same time, he began following the production of Killers of the Flower Moon, which focuses on the Osage Reign of Terror. The movie, released back in October, is up for 10 Oscar nominations. Both of these events provided closure after decades of unanswered questions for Morton and helped him heal from his own trauma. He hopes this painful part of history won't ever be forgotten and teaches our future generations about the impact of power, greed, and racism. I hope that social studies can pick up on the movie and explain this better and it becomes a great enduring lesson of the movie.